what is this coding thing? Is it something that's super essential that we have to immediately teach our children? Or is it just a scam that's been created to milk parents out of money? I've been talking to hundreds of parents in the recent times and on the one side, I hear stories like, you know, you have to teach coding right from when the child is in the womb and then within 15, within like 15 months or so, they learn a 15 crore package and then after that, they'll become Mark Zuckerberg and very soon their laptop will turn into a rocket and they'll fly off to Mars before they're 15 years old. That's one side I hear. And on the other side, I hear that, you know, hey, coding is the biggest burden you can put on a child. It, they should not be working on screens. They should be wrestling in the mud with the butterflies and playing outside. That's how children should be. What are we doing completely? It's just an absolute lie and a scam to teach children computer science. Now, what is coding really? This new word called coding that's been created. A word called computer science and computer programming has existed for a very long time. Is this new? What is this NEP, the national education policy, making coding a primary subject? What does that mean for us? Should we, if you're a parent, should you actually focus on teaching children, young children to code? Or is it just something we can let go of? Now, I've been talking to, you know, this can feel a little bit confusing, overwhelming. I've spoken to a lot of parents who are super educated, very clear about many things, and yet this can feel like there's so much noise. And honestly, a lot of pseudoscientific uh, claims uh, and tall promises that are being made right now that can confuse anybody. So what do I want to do here? I've been speaking to many parents, and I know that fundamentally you want just two things. You want to make sure your children are learning the relevant skills to be prepared for the future. And you want them to get those relevant and important essential skills and knowledge without developing a dislike for learning and the subjects. That's it, right? Make sure they're getting what they need and make sure they're not um, kind of losing their joy of learning in the process of getting that. Because in the previous generation, a lot of the coaching centers that we created in India did give them some of the knowledge but took away the love for learning. So this is all you need. Then let me try and help you here by answering this question. Hey, what are the essential skills that they need for the future? Is coding even a part of it or is it not? So if you really look at this question, AI is automating the world. The world's changing so much. None of the jobs that exist today will be what your children have. So what can you actually teach children when they're young? Uh, the answer is you teach them first how to learn. They get these skills called learning skills, which is basically how does the brain learn? because they are probably gonna have to change their career when they are like 22 or something completely. And then once again, when they're 27, once again, when they're like 32. So are we equipping, equipping them for that, right? What does that contain? How to learn? Along with it, it contains some mindsets. So I'm gonna go top down with you today. And the mindsets are curiosity, which we know is like, okay, a love for learning. Can we give them that? The second is growth mindset. Hey, do they believe they can learn anything at like, you know, hey, you know what? I can go figure it out. The teacher is bad, I don't care. The subject is boring, I don't care. I can go learn it. And then grit. Oh, I got bad mark once. Do I stop or do I just go, oh, no, I'm going to do it again. Those are the mindsets you want to be driving from a really young age. Now, if you're a parent who truly cares about the children, just after that, the skills that you want to be developing below the mindsets are the four C's of the 21st century. That's what everybody who are, are these trusted educators have identified as the key skills. What are they? Critical thinking, right? Are you able to differentiate fake news from real news? Are you getting fooled into taking stupid decisions by uh, scammy salespeople? So critical thinking, Collaboration, can you work in teams? Communication, can you communicate confidently? And creativity, can you actually disrespect the boundaries that subjects put and actually arrive at your own original questions? That's what's gonna get you the jobs of the future. Now, till now we've not spoken about any core subject, right? They do matter because you can't teach these in isolation. Uh, that'll just sound like somebody lecturing at you about these. Children can't learn these skills without connecting them to some core subjects. And some of the core subjects are these STEM subjects, like science, right? Math. And along with that, I would add coding and computer programming and technology too. That's the STEM foundations bucket you want to look at. So if they have a great STEM foundation, arguably some people say even STEAM foundation having more arts as well. I'm currently keeping it to the science, math, English, and programming and computer science. On top of which you can build these skills. On top of which you can drive these mindsets. Now some of the questions we began with, the answers might be becoming clear. So as you can see, coding is a core subject, neither this magic bullet amazing thing, nor a useless camp. It's just a core subject like science, like English, like math, that you develop good foundations in right from primary school. I was taught coding from like second standard. So that's the first piece. It's not a summer boot camp. It's a core subject that you learn the foundations of, understand deeply, right? Don't just use it to build some app and forget about it. The second thing is coding and these other core subjects we spoke about, right? Science, math, English. Learning them in isolation is not useful. It's much better to learn them by connecting them with each other and using them to learn these four C's of the 21st century. Using them as an excuse almost, or as a means to learn these four skills, the four C's of the 21st century, is what you should be focused on even more because that's what truly prepares us for the future. But more important than both of these is this idea that if you have to really prepare our children for the future, 
you have to understand that they're going to enter a world that's very different from our world. They're going to be becoming learning nomads, like Yuval Noah Harari calls it. They cannot just learn for a few years and then sit. They have to become lifelong learners. It was a luxury for us. For them, it's a necessity. So to do that then, all of these, the core, the core subjects and the four Cs, are to be used to drive some core mindsets of how to learn, right? how to develop curiosity, growth mindset and grit, the mindsets that we talked about, and teaching them really how the brain learns so that they can become happy, independent learners for life. That's what's worth doing.